if a government wants to get rid of private schools, that is the solution, to make the government schools outperform the private schools. And this is the lesson I talk to governments all over the world. If you don't like private schools, then make the public schools better instead of trying to close the private schools through other means. But, yeah, I mean, you can, you can raise performance in public schools. Um, you need standardized tests, which measure performance in key subjects. You need to eval evaluate teachers on their um, performance on those tests. And you also need some form of choice mechanism because parents don't just judge the quality of a school by its test results. Again, research very clearly from Chicago and other American cities show that parents have an over much more holistic view of what goes on in a school. And education, as we all know, is not about math scores, not about English or Spanish scores. It's about character, it's about values and dispositions and, and so on and safety and all the rest of it. And so you need some choice mechanism. So the voucher system, the per capita funding that goes, that follows students, is a good way of, of, of leading to the better schools, um, expanding and getting more money. But uh, I think the best way of raising educational standards is to learn the lessons from around the world and recognize the virtues of the private sector and recognize that the private sector can work in tandem with government to compete with government and to really raise standards through the virtues of educational entrepreneurship rather than saying everything has to be done in the, in the government sector.